Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. A large portion of Madison County expressed confusion due to Bria College's decision to temporarily cancel their men's baseball program for the spring 2020 season. The decision came following the alleged discovery of two players of the team being involved in off-campus parties. According to Bria College baseball player Seth Wallingford, the two student athletes were subsequently suspended. Berea College President Lyle Ruloff said in an initial statement that all students on the team are expected to abide by school rules and uphold Berea College policies. However, many around the county were quick to express that the decision was unfair towards the rest of the players on the team. A new letter was sent out this morning by President Ruloff and Provost Linda Strong Leak, which addressed the concerns of the Madison Countyans, but reiterated that the conduct of student athletes is taken seriously. The letter goes on to say that many of the student athletes have good conduct and that the reinstatement of the Bria College baseball team for the 2021 season remains the intent of the college. A respiratory illness known as the coronavirus has global health authorities on high alert. The World Health Organization and the U.S. government have declared the coronavirus outbreak a public health emergency. WBONTV's Tristan Reynolds contacted Carl McMahon, a Berea College graduate and Kentucky native, to find out how much has changed in China as he's living there since the outbreak out of Wuhan. For full details about the outbreak and a first-hand perspective from the native, check out the -the over-the-phone interview up now. And this morning, a collision occurred on 3rd Street in Richmond. Police reported it happened around 5.30 a.m. and to not be alarmed as they have blocked the area off near the high school. Officials say a car hit a utility pole and caused a water main break, requiring them to partially block a portion of 3rd Street and 2nd Street as well as surrounding areas. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel. 